Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Kamen Rider Zero Spike back again once again today people today we are here for Kamen Rider Gacha episode 16 and uh, yeah Daybreak is here and I got some theories on this guy Oh man, I, I got I got some Wow, but in this episode was dope the main villain was introduced I think it's or it, it, it looks like him. It's got to be him. This guy's too dark. He's fabulous too. He's like, he's like dressed nice. He got a golden Rubik's cube. How? Why? <laughs> I don't know if it is a Rubik's cube. It just looks like one. It's just he just got a. Oh, excuse me. He has like a cube with like digits in it. It's like, it looks like a like for real like. That's a golden Rubik's cube. It's it's solved. It's all gold. What are you? What are you? What? He got bling on. Like, come on. He, he looks like a mob boss. Like, dude looks like a mob boss. He got glasses. He got he got, he got chains on. All black suit. It's a classic man here. It's a classic man. This dude. He fitted right. This main villain right here. Right here. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, in this episode, we see that um, still dealing with some Christmas stuff. It, it, also, 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 Merry Christmas, Merry belated Christmas. Hope everybody had a happy, nice holiday. All that nice stuff, good stuff, weird stuff. But yeah, in this episode, we see that um, the gang is basically going over all the Kimmies that they have captured, and they have a lot of Kimmies. And then we—that's when we see Sabimaru um, show him a show uh, each and all say a bunch of other Kimmies that they haven't gotten yet, and we focus on one Kimmy that will be shown that they're actually going to get in this episode that is actually on this list. Also, I saw a nine tails in there. Did anybody else, anybody else notice the nine tail? Is that a Geet reference or is that as its own thing? Because if that, I need to see this form because if he turns into this form, automatic favorite form ever. Even more than this Daybreak guy, even though he's a whole separate rider, but still, like this Nine Tails, I'm really looking forward to this. But we're gonna go ahead and get to this. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I love foxes, favorite animal. But here we go. So in it, so he's basically going over everything, basically going over all the Kimmies that they have gotten. But Sabimaro shows them all the Kimmies that they have not gotten, Nine Tails. But uh, each and all say he's like really really wishing to find all these Kimmies so he basically says that he's gonna be he's gonna be really busy in his shop because it's gonna be it's Christmas time holidays and everything like that and he needs like someone else to help him so he ends up so Cyber Mario and Renge can't do it so he ends up having uh, Kudo uh, she's gonna do it so while that's happening we see that Spanner ends up going to the place where he uh, basically going to uh, the place that he got his sword from um, you know his whole hitching device and everything from and turns out it's this woman and she created his stuff it turns out she is his um like teacher basically like his teacher his professor basically and since she created she shows him a, a gotcha driver that is be, that is in development that she's creating and she talks to spanner about it and she basically says that this um this driver will be stronger than ichinose's driver and he's like Oh, for real? He's like, yeah, he could see the look on his face. He's like, I want it to be mine. Like, for real. So, and they also kind of confirmed that, and they also very much confirmed that, you know, Spanner isn't a writer. You know, his, you know, his sword is only designed to be able to use one Kimmy. He's still strong, though, but he's, but he is not a common writer. So, they, they throw it in his face all the, throughout this episode, like, oh, you are not the writer. You are, you are not the common writer. <laughs> but we see that the um, Abyssal Sisters are back at their base and we see that the our one sister who got beat last episode she feels she's like pissed off because she lost she's getting healed up and stuff and the main little sister basically says that you won't have to do anything because he is here and turns we see um their boss their main head guy it's just his voice for now but he ends up giving the other sister a present and when he basically he basically possesses her and uses it has um it has one Kimmy card and he transforms and when he trans when he possesses her and he transforms later on we see that 
uh, you see Katsuki, he's just chilling, being weird as usual. And that's when Ichinose catches up with him. And when, then that's when they see a bunch of uh, dark, gloomy sky and this big storm. And turn, uh, out of nowhere, a big red snake head comes out. And uh, this snake head is of shooting Katsuki and petrifying him. And then this uh, big snake head is shooting these blasts, like this venomous, ill plasma blast at people. And completely like, you know, uh, petri uh, petrifying people. And... Ichinose is able, he transforms and he's able to destroy one head. He's able to destroy the head and like blow a bell off the neck and everything. He has They have bells on their necks so, so for some reason. And he ends up uh, defeating it. And, but it still doesn't, um, it still doesn't save Kachiki. Turns out this thing is a Malgum, a very, very powerful Malgum. So, um, he cre this Malgum has been created and now they're trying to figure out a way of, uh, becoming like uh, beating this freaking malgum so the the big snake the big malgum ends up leaving and ichinose thought he defeated it but uh katsuki isn't unpetrified so they go off to find the rest of its body basically find the rest of like another head they end up seeing that um minato tells them that the whole city is starting to be petrified and ichinose thinks that he he thought he chased it off but um the big cloud ends up uh, going somewhere else and petrifying some more people but that's when um that's when kuragana himself comes up and tries to fight off the other head and while he's fighting it he can't really like do much to it he's shooting at it can't do much to it and that's when ichinose comes in helps spanner saves him and then that's when the snake head starts to talk it starts to talk and you know he says oh you're the common writer oh, so, uh, how, are you enjoying like experiment and things like that like it, when he when, the, when their boss possessed a sister he was like time for some chemistry i was like what the f what <laughs> time for some chemistry i hated chemistry in school let me know if you hated chemistry down there comment section below but anyway um he ends up uh, destroying the snake head and turns out they they do some research on this uh basically do some research on this kimmy turns out it's the big jama kimmy it has a big long name but i'm, I'm, I'm not saying it screw it i'm just gonna say jama because it says jama itself and it's a big like hydra it's like a hydra kimmy so yeah it has more than one head so we see that kudo they figure out that um it has more than one head and they end up uh trying to find like the whole body so what kudo uses she uses one of her kimmies who's basically like the sun and i'll get to her in a second but um she ends up using that and using like the sun kimmy and it ends up revealing its real body when it reveals its real body it's just a big hydra <laughs> and that's when each and gets ready to start fighting it he tells kudo and um spanner to leave and go save all the people and stuff and then spanner's like no i'm not doing that and he's like it's after me i'm the common writer and spanner's like Man, whatever he leaves he goes help everybody right so uh each and is fighting it he can't do anything to it he transforms into his other forms it's talking to him and stuff like that like he's like are you that kind of person like you care about people and stuff like that he's like uh yeah that's that's who i am <laughs> so uh, but he does end up getting defeated by it and it ends up knocking him down and knocks his mother's present out of his hand, out of his you know pocket, whatever. And Ichinose feel, he feels down on his luck and he's like, he feels like he can't save anyone. But then out of nowhere, his belt starts to glow. And then that's when one of the snakeheads tries to eat him and then his belt starts to glow. And then out of nowhere, a, a ball of fire comes down from the sky and chops the freaking snake head off. And turns and we see a red and orange gotchard with cape and fire and he looks dope and this is gotchard daybreak from what i'm from what i've read uh he looks absolutely freaking dope tell you, he's a whole separate person though we don't see what he actually looks like though but he ends up going off and defeating this hydra uh what well, it's giant form by the way he why he ends up defeating it and it transforms back it transforms into its regular malgum form and then that's when daybreak goes to start fighting it and he talks to you uh, he talks to each and say he says that hey um you got two choices you can leave everything to me or you can take out you can take and grasp the future with your own hands so 
And that's when each and say is like, nah, I'm going, I'm going to help you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, grasp the future with my own hands. Like you said, he transforms into X Rex and uh, starts fighting. The uh, takes the Magum for himself, starts fighting it, transforms into UFO X and ends up defeating the Magum. And then he ends up capturing the Kimmy and turns and you see that it was a big Jama Hydra Kimmy. Whew. So after he defeats it, uh, that's when he ends up capturing the Kimmy. He defeats it. Everybody kind of goes back. He has some one on one stuff with his mom, you know, happy ending type things. And that's when uh, we see the main, we see the girl, we see the main girls, uh, our abyssal sisters go back to the main base. And then that's when their final boss reveals himself truly. And like I said, man, classic man. He got chains, he got a golden Rubik's Cube, he got the glasses, hair, and he sounds pretty freaking evil. So of course this is the main villain wants to you know wants to see some darkness. But uh, but yeah, man, this episode was pretty cool. Daybreak was absolutely freaking fire. No pun intended, but he came out of nowhere. Like I just I, the debut probably would have been cooler if it, it was dope it really was but i kind of feel like it would have been cooler if you know it would have foreshadowed to this guy like like for real like he should have like could have foreshadowed a little bit like in the episode at least like also we didn't also we still haven't talked about each you know say having that dream about him with hopper while he was a kid like we haven't talked about that <laughs> Like that plot point is kind of gone out of way, out of, put on the back burner for a while. I kind of want to know more about that. But Daybreak, man, he looks dope. He sounds different. You could tell that he's like a whole different character. He's most likely going to be a whole different character. I think he's Ichinose's future kid or an older or him or his future self in general. Like a whole new older Ichinose. Um, hold like straight up from the future he had like an attack it seems like he, that daybreak form isn't his base form that's a form he has because we see him standing on top of the uh rooftop and he has the uh well maybe it is his base form but he's we see him holding like the booster thruster looking part that was on top of the uh driver he see we see him holding it and probably he's probably gonna give that to ichinose because if each of those gets this form, it's automatically my number one favorite form. Because I don't have a favorite form for Gotcha Art. I really don't. But uh, if he gets this, this is top tier. This is my favorite form off of rip. I don't care what the ultimate, I'm, I, I don't know how the ultimate form is going to look. But this Daybreak stuff looks dope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, also they did some references to like the um, uh, Kudo becoming a common Rider. And she has both her Kimmy's like she has her Pegasus Kimmy well the Pegasus unicorn Kimmy and the other Kimmy that was basically like the Sun but uh yeah she said that she transformed uh, she used too much power from transforming yesterday but she's gonna do she's not a she's not a damsel in distress no more and I'm like cool I can't wait to see that but <laughs> other than that this episode was cool. Uh, I kind of wish Daybreak was kind of foreshadowed too a little bit more. He kind of came out of nowhere, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get this guy's like little a small bit of his backstory next episode. I don't think we're gonna like see what he looks like. I don't know, but other than that, he looks cool. He looks fine. This episode was fine. I mean, foreshadowing to Kudagane getting his writer stuff, which is dope. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I've already kind of seen it, but I want to see it in action actually. But uh, yeah, you guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this episode of Comrade Gotcha. I know this episode, I know this video is gonna be kind of long, but I had a lot. I mean, I had a lot to say, and I kind of wanted to make it longer. But other than that, this gonna be hell to edit. But other than that, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As remember, as I always say, guys, stay hitchened.